Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Travis with Two Brothers Adventures. If you watched our last video, I used the uh, Blast Match uh, one-handed striker to uh, start this fire. Today we're going to test now the uh, theory that you can use a aluminum foil bowl and uh, boil water. A lot of people in their survival kits will carry a piece of folded tin foil and they'll say that they're going to use it to boil water if they ha find water that's uh, non-potable that they need to boil before they can drink. Um, I'm a little skeptical of this because I frankly I've never done it before but also having a piece of tin foil folded up for a long time in a pack I don't know if it's actually going to hold water or how easy it's going to be to make a bowl so what we've done is we've got two separate pieces here we've got one piece that's roughly um, a foot by a foot we're going to use a single layer and try and make that into a bowl and then we've got a, a basically a two foot by a foot and we're going to try and make a double layer bowl with that so first we're going to try the one foot by one foot and the way you make this bowl is you put it over like a, a pouch or a stump or something and kind of form your form your bowl over it then you twist up the edges to kind of give it some structural rigidity so that it doesn't collapse on you Now I'm sure there's other ways to do this um, this is just the only way I've read about doing it um, you can probably origami something or do some type of a uh, some type of a folded bowl or something but this is this is the easiest way not to have any any uh, corners or any leaks that you have to try and seal up because as you see that's a pretty it's a pretty good bowl if I can get it off my pack here so thank you brother so as you can see that that's a pretty good little bowl right there with some a little bit of rigidity around the edges here I'm just gonna kinda touch this up a little bit flatten out the bottom just a little bit so that we can put it on the fire here. And if you go ahead and we got some green sticks here that we're gonna put across the fire to hold our bowl. And we're gonna see if this will this will actually um, work. I'm gonna put about a cup of water in here. I'm gonna set it on the fire. I got a stopwatch here, so we're going to start timing it once we put it on the fire. We'll probably cut the video out for a few minutes and then uh, come back when it starts boiling. So I'm going to start the stopwatch. So there we go. All right, we're back for an update. It's been about five minutes now, five and a half minutes. Uh, the water's getting hot, but it's not quite boiling yet. What we have noticed is with the single layer of foil is um, as it gets a little hot, the bowl's um, structural integrity is a little bit compromised. So we if you even bump it with a stick or do anything like that it kind of starts to crumple over and stuff but it's doing all right so far we think we're going to get a boil out of it we're just going to keep stoking the fire um, see if we can get a little bit of a boilage going on here but so far so good it's actually surprising me so we're going to cut out again and we'll come back when it's uh, boiling or 10 minutes whichever is uh, sooner and give you an update. All right, it's been about a little over nine minutes about nine minutes and 20 seconds actually and uh, we got a nice roll and boil going here my brother's behind the camera now so he's going to come over here and kind of show you the, the rolling boil and uh, and uh, this actually worked out pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, show you that it's boiling, then we'll cut out and come back and uh, actually remove it um, from the fire and, uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually boiling pretty good. Um, the bowls kept most of its structural integrity. Um, surprisingly, I think this works really well. Um, we had to replace our green sticks once because we burnt through them, but other than that, we had to keep our fire going. Other than that, it's worked really well. So I think this is something that I was a little skeptical about, keeping my survival kit, but now definitely I know that it will work. Um, takes a little work, but it, it, it can happen. So for all those people that are carrying that in their survival kit, just rest assured that it, it can work under the right circumstances. I'm Jack. I'm Travis with Two Brothers Adventures. Keep your knife sharp and uh, enjoy the woods.